Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'll call Phoenix here and welcome to the Leviathan Expedition for No Man's Sky. We're going to be doing a playthrough of the Leviathan Expedition. This is going to be hard. We're going to try our best. I do know some bits and pieces. I'm going to kind of be following somewhat of a guide because I'm not the best at doing this on the fly myself. And... With the very thought that if we die, we're basically restarting over, that's pretty scary to me. So, we're going to have to be very careful. We're going to have to be extremely careful with this Leviathan Expedition, but the rewards are pretty damn cool. And I did have some people who have wanted me to do expeditions in the past, so I figured with this one, why not? Let's go and do this one, because this is probably going to be one of the harder ones they've ever released. Okay, fantastic. Beautiful. So, we got memory fragments and stuff, all that cool junk. Very good. This is a permadeath expedition. Fantastic. Let's go! Oops. Sorry. There we go. Death is not the end. Re-enter the loop traveler. Universal memory at 9%. Death by high speed ground impact. Oh, don't click anything when it's on this screen. I nearly crashed my game. Okay, there we go. So, the reason I did that is because one of the tasks is to die. So you might as well get that out of the way first thing, otherwise... You're going to be upsetty spaghetti if you've forgotten to do that and gotten nearly all the way through and you haven't died. Might as well get that straight out of the way. Okay. Fantastic. So now if we go to Expedition, pin that milestone, give it a couple seconds, it should hopefully pop up. Saying that we completed it. There it is, Rose from the Ashes. Because we actually need some of the stuff that it gives us for completing that milestone. We need the rewards, which is the Hermatic Seal and Base Computer. Fantastic. So now we do our normal thing and we get some dihydrogen, some carbon, some ferrite dust, all the usual suspects. So we can actually repair our ship. Now we do have pretty limited space. As you can see, we do have these as well, which we probably should absorb and see what we got. Coolant network unit. So let's... Alright, uh, hang on. Oh, we started with a reportable refiner? Interesting. Interesting. Don't know whether we were going to. Received a gift from the past. Upgrade modules improve a specific technology. Da da da. Okay, so was that another milestone? It was. Memory fragment personal weapon. Okay, fantastic. So we've got a neutron cannon unit. Why do we... Oh, okay. I was going to say, why do we not have access to our technology slots? But that's okay. There we go. Neutron cannon. Fantastic. Alright, so that's done. Exosuit. Alright. Let's install this over here. Probably could move our technology stuff over. So that's our hazard protection. Oh, Okay. We need to be careful. Uh, we can jazz this up with an ion battery quickly so we don't go dying. Probably a good idea. We need to get a bunch of ferrite dust. We're going to need some carbon as well. So we'll get that real quickly. We've got lots of little bits and pieces to do. Now, it may, be, it may take me some time 
to work everything out with this expedition, so you'll have to bear with me if I do stuff that frustrates you or annoys you, like, why didn't he do this when he had the chance? I'm going to try and do it in the best possible order, but again, I don't know absolutely everything, right? So, I'm sure there will be things I could have done to make my life easier, but that's just, that's just how it is, you know, honestly. Uh, we probably should go to our network options and allow PvP with no one. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's probably good. Okay. I just don't want to have PvP stuff going on. Oh my god, we got some pure ferrite. That is absolutely something we needed straight off the bat. So that's perfect. Rogue Technology Echo. Starship's Shield Module. Hyperdrive Module. Oh. Okay, that's pretty good. That is not bad at all. So, we end, we've got the portable refiner, which it doesn't even look like we're going to need it right now, actually, because we've got, we got pure ferrite straight off the bat. Oh, no, we do, we do need to make some condensed carbon. That is something we do need to make. So, let's quickly put that down just for a second. Put some carbon in there and then put some more carbon in there. Quickly make some condensed carbon. I well, know we do need to, to have that, so that would be advisable. Get as much carbon as we possibly can. Uh, we got to be careful too. There's going to be hostile uh, enemies as well that we're going to have to worry about. And we don't really want to mess with them if we can help it. So, let's head our way over. What do we got here? Don't think we need that. Okay, our thermal protection's falling, so we probably should... Oh, God. You take a lot of damage real easily. Okay, we really need to be careful with our jetpack then. My God, I did not expect the damage to be so high. Just head our way over to to the ship. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we've gotten lucky with the position necessarily of this ship. I don't think. Some sodium here, which we could use for our thermal protection for a moment. All right, let's just very carefully go down here. New beginning. Sucks that it's at night, too, already. Okay, we need to get some die height. We need a, we need a hematic seal, I know that much. We're going to need a metal plating. We're going to need dihydrogen jelly. I think we need two. We have reached our starship. Now, I think we'll get a cutscene here. I wanted it. I deserve. Certain that's what. Just for me and this prize. Mine. The ship's radio crackles with a voice both unknown and yet deeply familiar. I have an uneasy sense of having been here before. Trace anomalies. Nothing. No escape. Maybe Polo. Uh. All right. So, let's get this launch thruster repaired. We've got the stuff for that. We've got the stuff for this. And now our ship is repaired. We are going to move this stuff into the technology slot, if we can. There we go. So, if you take that away. Okay, so it adds a little bit to maneuverability. Right, now we've also got these. 
I don't even have a hyperdrive right now anyway. So we don't necessarily need to worry about that right now. Just going to move those up there. Up into their own little spots up there. Okay. Good stuff. Right, let's have a look at this expedition stuff. Quickly. Um, you know, I probably should do it while we're in here so we just don't take sit there taking heat damage. Okay, so we get some life support jelly, some ion batteries, some starship launch fuel, and memory fragments. Good, good, good. Right. These are exosuit ones. Pre-packaged rocket boots unit. Uh-huh. Right. Shield module one. Uh, I don't think... Hang on, we need to move that over here. And then we can move that... Nope. Oh, that one there, there we go. Life support stuff over here as well. That'll be fine. And another shield module. Which we can stick next to each other. Fantastic. Good. Alright, let's see. What else have we got? Glimpse of the loop. Report the loop anomaly to Polo. Help Polo search for patterns in the loop. Reach the first anchor point. So we do need to do knowledge stone stuff. I know that much. Yeah, we do need to do knowledge stone stuff. Reach the first anchor point. Construct the memory resonator. What do we got now? Construct the memory resonator. Establish a foothold on an infested planet. So that's, I think when we get to anchor point two, that will be an infested planet. Learn three words in each alien language. Explore a freighter crash site. Alright, so we've got that done. We need to... We need some magnetized ferrite. We also need some cobalt as well. We also probably wouldn't be a bad idea to kill some creatures. And we can get some food off of them. Which we can then sell for units. That would not be a bad idea either. Also, let's see. Do we have any... We do have a natural burial site. That could be an idea too, is to go and check the natural burial site for bones. That would give us some money. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a really good bone. Maybe we won't. Who knows? I should scan these guys. I think there is... Whoa! Okay. The game's getting a little laggy. I'm literally pushing jump. And it didn't want to jump then. It's a little rough. Servers, servers having a bit of problems then. My god. Really don't want it to be unresponsive at the moment because we could die if it's unresponsive and that is not good. Wow, what is going on? Yeah, it's delayed. Hmm. Yep, it's definitely delayed. What? <laughs> it's so buggy, and it's not, it's not my computer either doing that. It's not a computer issue, it's a, it's an issue with the server. Hmm. I don't know whether we really need that. Because we can't carry much stuff, so I don't want to be carrying around a bunch of crap either. Oh, we got a movement module though. Yes. Sick. That's pretty good. Alright. Uh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Whoa, we need oxygen real quick. 
Ooh. That was pushing it. Okay. We don't actually have our terrain manipulator fixed. Oh, we just need carbon nanotube, which we should be able to make. Oh, yes, beautiful. Completely forgot about the terrain manipulator being fixed, to be honest. Okay, let's check down here for a bone. We have a bone. Unfortunately, it is a crap bone. It is, in fact, a terrible bone. 100,000 units, nowhere near good. Do we have any more, by chance? Metal fingers. What? Are these worth a bit? Oh, it's like gold. What? This is so strange. I've never seen those before. Okay. Cool. Oh, there is another burial site there. It might be worth checking that out. Oh, there's another one right there as well. It's nowhere near as close, though. Uh, right. We'll quickly go have a look. I'm trying to, to play this at the moment, but it's being very rough. I don't actually know whether we need multiplayer on to do any of the expedition tasks. I'm going to disable it for a minute. Maybe it is the way the game is. It's just being really weird right now. I can't explain. It's just extremely unresponsive. Uh, there is oxygen over here. We're good. I might exit the game in a minute and come back to it. What the hell was that? Oh, shit. There's sandworms, bro. What? I've never dealt with those, ever. Like, ever. Freaked me right out. Okay, maybe because there's sandworms here, maybe it would be something good. Or maybe it won't be. Ugh. Just a crappy bone. Save beacon. Expedition place. Alright. We well, guess what we should do is try and get up here. Yeah, see how it's like stuttering? It's not smooth. Weird me out, man. Just trying to get up on a flattish surface so we can summon our ship. Thank you. Wait, when? When did this get built? I didn't see this. Did we completely miss this? Okay, there's nothing in it. It will put our thermal protection thing back up though, so that's a good idea. Okay. We're going to go back up here. Because I want to just have a save point is the reason why we're doing this. Jump back in this. And then we're going to jump back out, get a restore point. I'm going to put multiplayer back on, but I'm going to exit to mode select. And then jump back into it and see if that fixes it. Okay, I decided to exit the game. So hopefully it feels a little bit more smooth now. I want to look at this quickly. I want to see if there's anything. See, befriend an aggressive creature. I think we could do that on this planet. We could find some knowledge stones before we leave as well. We need to earn a million units. Uh, uh, 
shut down a planet's sentinel forces. Okay, so that means we're going to have to go to one of those towers. We've got to earn 2,000 nanites. We've got to eliminate 20 sentinels. These are purged milestones. And then... Okay. Good. Just trying to think of things we can get done while we're here. So I think we should get some cobalt and some magnetized ferrite. We do need a way to keep our oxygen supply up. At the moment, we don't really have one. Uh, we have... We have around us buried cash, cache. There was another bone somewhere, wasn't there? Over that direction, I thought. Another ancient, ancient burial site. But now I can't see it. I oh, know, there's one down here. Oh, that's the one that we already did, isn't it? Yeah, it's the one we already did. Uh, so what do we got resources-wise? Phosphorus, cobalt right there. Good. We need that. It still feels weird. Ow. That was really stupid of me. Let's just work our way over to the cobalt. Oh, okay. I guess I can't. Because it's too hard for the terrain manipulator to go through. Whoa! Hang on. Alright. Let's get ourselves out of here then. Can we get out of the earth, please? Thank you. My god. Okay, yeah, this feels ridiculous. This feels so not right. Okay, there's some oxygen over there. Let's go get that real quick. We're gonna have to constantly be getting oxygen. Once we go to the space station, I think we get some... Oh, you know what it is? I know what it is. No, I don't have Logitech G-Hub open. It can't be that. I thought it was my G-Hub just randomly making me do movements, but it's not. And we got an incoming firestorm, which is not exactly ideal. Uh, we could take the rusted metal. But I think we drop it for now. See what we get. Whoa! Oh, no! Very bad. Oh, we need to get in a hole. Um, you know, I think we're just going to have to come back because we're going to die if we keep pushing our luck here. I say we just go to the space station and get some things so we don't die. We can always come back. That's not an issue. We can come back to this planet and we're going to have to tame one of those aggressive wildlife for one of the expedition things. Which is fine. For now though, let's just get off the planet before we get killed on it. We gotta play it a little bit more careful, because we are in survival mode and permadef, so... Alright, let's see, where are we? Over here we're going, whoop. I think we tagged the space station properly. Got a little bit of a way. Okay, a trader just popped up in front of me.
which works out well for me, I guess. Okay, we'll sell that, we'll sell that. Mm. Okay, cool, thank you. Thank you, sir, I appreciate it. And the awesome music begins. Hell yeah. I love it. Love the music when you first come to a trader. Or a space station, I mean. Okay, I think that's all I can really sell. Unfortunately, we don't have as much money as I would love to have, but hey, we're going to buy a fair few of these because I think that's just a smart investment. Might as well just buy all of them, yeah? We need that. Uh, oxygen's probably a good idea to have. We can have one stack, and that's it. Otherwise, it, you can only hold 250 per stack. We're going to buy a bunch of these, and now we won't have to worry about uh, thermal protection. We could just buy the magnetized sterite and the cobalt. I'm trying to think what we need. I think we need 50 of each. But I'm not sure off the top of my head. I don't know whether it's in here though. Uh, construct the memory resonator. Okay, yeah, we need 50 of each. So let's grab 50 magnetized ferrite. There's got to be a better way to do this, right? 50 magnetized ferrite and then 50 cobalt. Sweet. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background, by the way. He's just being a sooky bum at the moment. Okay, sweet. Now we can do that. Now we don't have to friggin' worry about dying from that. Which is awesome. Yeah, this still feels absolutely terrible. Okay, so we need to go speak to Polo as well. We need to try and tame an aggressive creature, which we can do on that planet, which I think we should do before we leave. Before we leave this system. So then we don't have to come back, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Can I stack that? I can. Good. Uh, the ion batteries I could probably stack as well. Do I have any launch thruster fuel on me? I do not. Okay, that can stay in there. That's fine. So we do have some storage space in there as well. Let's come back over here and have a squiz real quick. Let's grab maybe those. I don't know whether we should. Whether we should take up the room by having those. Let's grab some nanites from here. Anything different in here? I don't know whether we're going to need wiring looms or anything like that. Sodium would probably be a good thing to have as well. Probably need it for things. Uh, we probably could just buy sodium nitrate instead. Holy crap, can I just please do this in a more efficient way? Thank you. Okay, that's good. All uh, right. I think we're good. Let's call that good. 
We'll go talk to Polo real quick, and then we'll decide. We'll probably go back down onto the planet just to tame an aggressive creature. And I think that's really all we need from the planet now that we've got Cobalt and the Magnetized Ferrite. I don't think we're going to need anything else from there. I don't want to go to the galaxy map. That is not what I wanted to do. Ah, oh, cool. Anomaly detected. Fantastic. That's good. Can I can I please leave this, though? It won't actually let me escape, by the way. Oh. Okay. Okay, quick, hang on. We need to spawn that. Go, 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 go. Okay, that's fine. You can avoid it by, like, summoning the, the anomaly and then flying into the anomaly. We can avoid having to fight things. So we're going to do that for now. Come on. Let me in. Thank you. Okay, watch how laggy this is now that I have had multiplayer. In my normal series, I have multiplayer turned off. Yeah, there it is. Pretty laggy. Or pretty framey is what I should say. Not necessarily laggy, it's framey. Okay, there we go. Now it's, yeah, yeah, it's framey. I'm still on, like, 90 FPS. So it's not the worst. Don't get me wrong. It is nice to see, like, a bunch of people, though, because it's weird... With the, the first 20 or so episodes of my series, there was always people, and then I turned multiplayer off. Uh, to do something with an expedition, and then I just never turned it back on. Alright, Polo, what's going on, dude? Back so soon, friend. You were you are like our little home. Coming and going, going and coming. You are here to talk about the loop again, yes? Ask about the loop. Is it so different from before, traveler friend? Perhaps you will get used to it. Other dear friends have adjusted after all. You have had enough, I think. You are not alone all the time in the world, but there is no this is no way to spend it. But do you but do not worry, friend, there has been much time to think about this. We have a plan, you and I. Polo smiles, their beak clicking gently, the room swims around me, the air ripe with the scent of chimes and whistles. I see it. I remember. Remember. The universe is full of wonderful anomalies. There will be a pattern in a loop, a signal in the deep matter. We will just look closely. You already know what we require, I think. So I need liquid metal, I need ancestral memories, and I need somnal dust. Say so you'll be back. You always are, traveler friend. Begun to understand. I observed the cycle. What do I get from it? Where is it? I get the solar array plans. Yes. Beautiful. I got some memory fragments for inventory. And I got some sodium. Oh, if I'd known I was going to get sodium, I wouldn't have brought it. Rogue Technology Echo. Ooh. 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 Hell yeah, dude. That was sick. Alright. That was pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So, now I need to craft the solar ray, which I can do straight away. Bang, boom. Done. Charge equipment with catalytic elements. Sick. Alright, so now we have the solar ray, which we will need to collect uh, that solar stuff that he wants. Like, a lot of the stuff he wants. That's gold, my dude! What the frick? That's sick! What's this dude roaming around with a gold ship? What the hell, man? Oh, and this guy's got one too! Womb Raider. Alright, Chief. Calm down. Womb Raider. Uh, so let's head, I guess, back to the planet. Let's 
seems to be the go. Uh, which planet were we on? Should have probably looked when we left it, what we were on. But it took me a minute to get over here, so it's... First spawn. Ah, oh, so it was this one, was it, huh? Does that seem right? Let's see if it seems right timing-wise. Yep. Yeah, acidic moon. We spawned on a moon, is that right? I'm just going to go with first spawn being the correct thing. Oh, great. I tried to land on the planet, now I'm getting attacked by pirates. Fantastic. Just what we wanted, right? Fight some pirates straight off the bat. Man, this guy is just spinning around everywhere, my dude. He is all over the shop. What the hell is going on? Okay, he's dead. Ow. Where's this other guy? All I wanted to do was land on the damn planet. They wouldn't let me do it. Okay, I wanted to look at this. All plants glitch build. Oh, that's what it is. All plants 20 times and more. What? I want to see this. I don't know whether this is for, like, this expedition, or whether this is just something someone built in this space before. Okay, there's a teleporter here. What is this? Save point. Bunch of power. A bunch of batteries. Bunch of solar panels. Holy crap. This guy's gone insane with it. Ah, uh huh. I don't know whether this is just for the sake of having the plants, or whether this is like a hidden expedition thing that I'm not... don't know about yet. Nutrient processor. A way to change your appearance. Large refiner. Galactic trade terminal. You can hear my puppy bark in the background, which I apologize for. Just gonna get rid of that. I don't really need it. Uh-oh. There's a freaking sentinel outside. That's good. Neutron cannon. How strong is the neutron cannon? Explosive energy weapon. I mean, I know we need to kill some sentinels. I wasn't exactly planning on fighting them right now, though. Oh, there's aggressive creatures underneath us. We need to make these. The creature pallets. You get five. Uh, I wonder... Distract him with bait. Adopt this companion. Yes! This guy just won't die. He's the strongest creature ever. Okay, there we go. I wanted some more meat. You are... weird looking. Gently pat. Enjoying attention. Okay, now you're happy. And there we go. Currently wants attention. What? I just gave you attention. Enjoying attention. Fantastic. Alright, now you're happy. That's good. 
So we've done that now. That was iteration to befriend an aggressive creature. Now I think, unless we just want to go around Did I get eaten by my own friend, or did another enemy come up and kill me while I was standing there? That sucks. Horribly. Now we have to do all that again. Like, we've kept, we've kept the milestone progress, I thought. No, you don't. You're kidding. I thought, oh God. We literally have to do everything again. Oh my God. Okay. I mean, I, I know it said it's permadeath, so I should have, should have known that you also lose your expedition progress. This is going to be hard. This is going to be really, really, really difficult. Oh my god, that's rough as hell, dude. Sorry if you can hear my dog again. I haven't got the chance to get up and let him in. I will be in a moment. So he stops sucking at my door. Okay, well we do have to... Do all that stuff again. That's fine. In the future, though, I'm not standing anywhere near those creatures. Uh, with I'm just going to sit in the ship next time because that that sucks horribly. We just it's basically like wasting 40 minutes of time. Really, essentially, is what just happened. I just I just played for 40 minutes for no benefit at all. Um, you know what we could do? We could quickly, if we're really careful about it. He, I would, I would love this dog to calm down though. We could quickly just do this, distract him with bait, feed him, adopt his companion. Fantastic! We made a friend out of a foe. Feeling rejected, gently pat him, gently pat him, give him a treat. Uh, and then we're going to do this. Dismiss him so he's not there. Holy crap, and not die from whatever the hell you are again. You weird thing, you. I'm going to kill you. Okay, next time we need to be more careful, my god. <sighs> Alright. You live and you learn, though. Now I know. I've reached my starship. Fantastic. Awesome. Very good. Thank you. I have life support at 20%. I don't have anything to help myself with that. Unless I get lucky and get something out of one of these, maybe. Maybe some oxygen. Health at maximum. I can't even sit in my... I can sit in the ship. But the thing is, this isn't going to help me either. Okay, I don't know whether I grabbed enough stuff to just do what I needed to do then. I can do that, I can make the metal plating. That'll fix that, that'll fix that. We need the hematic seal, which is... Not unlocked for some reason? Oh, because I need to... 
I need to collect the rewards. That's right. Need to do all that again. Good, good, good. Oh, hello, someone else. How you doing? Okay. Exosuit, Hematic Seals, Condensed Carbon, which means I have to get out because I need the Portable Refiner. Uh, that's fine. We've got a Firestorm outside though, so we're not going to stand out here for long. It's going to quickly do this. I'm going to quickly put this down. Put that in there. I need to get more carbon. And this dog. Okay, so we need a little bit more carbon. Got to be careful doing this because we will die very fast out here. Like stupid fast. We've got the ion batteries to at least hold us alive for a moment. I'm going to end up with a bunch of them anyway. Man, that was such a good start. I'm so annoyed at myself for letting me die that way. Like, I just, it just feels like a, a really crappy way to have died. It was just lack of concentration, got killed by a random enemy. Just felt like it, whoa, whoa, get in. Right. Alright. Uh, we should check what we get. Radiation protection module. I guess that's nice. It's not the worst thing to get. Prepackaged toxin suppressor unit. Right. A movement module. That's pretty good. Pre-packaged advanced mining laser. Ooh. That's pretty damn good as well. In some ways, that's kind of better than what we got before. Pre-packaged plasma launcher kit. I don't have a plasma launcher. I'll put it in there for now. We can always get rid of it. Death by planetary predator. Oh, thank God the storm's clearing. Maybe we can try and make some progress now. Again. Alright, that's going to give us 30, which is exactly what we need. Uh, we probably should get more, though. I think those marrow bulbs can be put made into oxygen or carbon. I can't remember which. Both of which we'll need anyway, so that should work out well for us. Need more carbon. Oh, this will allow us to get pure ferrite, actually, because we just got that upgrade. Oh, that's actually awesome. Fantastic. That works out perfectly. And we don't even need the portable refiner to get the ferrite now. Or the pure ferrite that we're going to need. I'm basically having to remember all the steps all over again, we just did. Oh, we need 50 of that. Which we do not have yet. We're getting there, though. This should give us the last of it. Alright, cool. Hey, go away, jerk bag. Get out of here. I need the condensed carbon out of here. Whoa! Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh, I got Holy crap, sit in your starship. I almost died again. My god. 
Oh yeah, I need to make the hematic seal. Which now we have. And we're good again. My god. Okay, let's move these over into the technology area again. Wait a minute, that needs to go over there, because that goes there. Those two go together. Deflect the shield over here. Then we can move this stuff around up here. Right. Awesome. Good. Now, what else do we need to do? We need money. Ancient bones would be good. If we could get some. There's a natural burial site right there. Could we hope... Be careful. For something really good. Oh, I need to repair the terrain manipulator, don't I? I've got to be careful looking around. Doing, going into my inventory without noticing anything. I need another dihydrogen jelly, which I need more dihydrogen for. Easy, right here. Right, that worked out well. That's not enough? Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Okay, there we go. We can fix that bit, and then we need the carbon nanotube. Good. Now we're good. Alright. There we go. Where is this burial site? Right there. Please give me a really... Oh, there's two here, actually. Uh, let's get rid of you first, because you're standing right near me, and I don't trust you. There's three... Holy shit. Mmm. That. That. I can put these not in the starship. My mistake. Get rid of that. Okay, we're good. Grab this one. Got this one, grubby bones, intriguing bones. Peculiar bones. Eh, it's like 200,000 maybe-ish. Something like that, it's not the worst, it's not the greatest though either. Buried mineral formation. Uh, let's also do this quickly. I'm gonna kill them before I even have a chance to for them to mess with me. Glowing mineral. Let's do that for a minute. I just want to see what we get. Mm. Crystal sulfide. Don't think I need that for anything that I can think of. And the thing is, with this meat, we can sell it. So it is worth zapping these things for the meat as well. It is not a bad idea at all. Uh, we need to get rid of that again because I want to pick this bad boy up. What is this? Hmm. Antimatter housing, sodium nitrate, and a carbon nanotube, and we could get our exosuit upgraded. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Probably would not be a bad idea. Hmm. But do I want to? Oh. Oh, I did. Not really. To be honest, I really... I don't want to bother. Uh, what else did we need to do on this planet? Do we actually need to do anything else on this planet? 
No, we don't need to. It would be nice to find some knowledge stones, but I... I do see some on the map. They're a fair way away, though. They're not, not close at all. Any of them, really. I don't think. I think that's what I'm seeing. Just gonna do that quickly for a second. I'm not gonna go too far, because the life support gel I have is on... Uh, the ship. No, nah, screw it. Let's just go. We need magnetized ferrite. We're gonna need some cobalt. And I think that's really about it. Uh, we are going to have to not recharge our stuff because it's already done. Cool. Oh my god. What a... What a time. Alright, let's go to the space station again. At least we got the creature, the aggressive creature one done straight off the bat. So now anything we see aggressive creature... Uh, ag aggressive. Aggressive creatures wise, we're just gonna crap on them. I'm not being anywhere near them after that. I can't believe it. I'm going to have to go back and actually look at the footage because I don't know whether it was my own creature that killed me or another one snuck up right next to him and he just let me get munched on. I don't know. I do not know which it was other than the fact that it was terrible that it happened. And we get to hear the awesome music again though. That doesn't mean I ever want to hear this music again through this entire expedition. Because if I don't have to hear it again, it means we didn't die again. Which is something we want to avoid. But it happens, you know. It's all part of learning, and now I know to be even more careful. Because that sucked horribly. Like, that really, really did suck. That was terrible. Alright, so now we can make some moolah. Get rid of the grubby bones. We can get rid of the creature pellets. We can get rid of all the strider sausage, the marrow bulbs. I'm not even going to check to see what they give me. Peculiar, intriguing bones. Get rid of the raw steak, the feline liver. All right, and now we're actually in somewhat of a better position. We have more money than we did before. So that's a positive, I would say. We've got all the life support gel a man could ever want. We need 50 of this. We need... 50 of this. Good. Uh... Just going to do that for now. If I need some later, we can always farm that. That's not a problem. We're going to buy all these as well. And we get sodium for a reward. We'll grab this instead. Cool. All right, we're good. I'm going to call that good. I am content with what we have done. I reckon. Now let's go talk to Polo again. After all that. This time I didn't open the galaxy map by accident and waste a bunch of time floating through space while pirates were trying to attack us. Nanny Noops has left the system. I guess maybe they have gold ships because they did certain previous expeditions that they got. Is that the gold default ship though? I don't know. 
I don't know. Let's just go talk to Polo. Get these plans. Remake that thing. The solar array. And then we're going to end off this episode. Because I think we have done plenty today. Ask about the lube. Gotta go for all this stuff. No, 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 no. Remember. Blah, 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 blah. So you'll be back. Boys are traveler friend. Okay, let's have a look at our expedition stuff. Okay, we got a memory fragment for a personal weapon as well. Here's our soul array and an inventory memory fragment. I wonder what that will be this time. Same thing as before, so that seems to be a guarantee. A pulse splitter one. Ooh. So we got a couple different weapons now. Interesting. Pulse splitter's good. What have we got from this? We get ancestral memories, we get some poop, and we get some wild milk. Well, hold... Uh, how many did he need? He needed ancestral memories, did he not? Mm, you need 200. We've got 150. Alright, so... That's fine. We've, we've, we're getting it though, we're getting it. Let's get the solar array installed, seeing as we have all the things. Beautiful. We have made good progress today, I think. So, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more No Man's Sky Expedition Leviathan in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you'll have a lovely day. All right, peace!